Heartland of Georgia says a former national security contractor's claims that employees like him can listen to the phone calls of Americans is not true. Representative Westmoreland's statement on this matter has been put to the truth of meter test. It was news that caught a lot of Americans' attention. Last month, several news organizations, including the Washington Post, reported that the federal government had hundreds of millions of phone records as part of its terrorism surveillance records. In an article last month, U.S. Republican Representative Lynn Westmoreland is quoted saying, it is against the law for the NSA to record or monitor Americans' phone calls without getting a specific FISA warrant to do so. Westmoreland is a pro-security guy, and he is saying, hey, we can't monitor your phone calls unless we get a very specific warrant. The AJC's PolitiFact team put Representative Westmoreland's quote to the truth test. And I also think it just shows how this whole issue has become so confusing to many people. Westmoreland is a member of the House Committee on Intelligence. Westmoreland's spokesperson backed up the claim in part showing transcripts from hearings where the NSA's director said they don't have authority to listen to Americans' calls. The team decided Westmoreland's quote is true. He's absolutely correct on it. As far as we know now, they cannot monitor Americans' phone conversations without getting a warrant first. And Jim Tharp says this whole subject is still evolving and some things people have said earlier have proven to be untrue, but says it doesn't appear that will be the case with this. And be sure to check the Atlanta Journal-Constitution to get more information information on NSA monitoring. You can learn the details of FISA, the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, and go point by point with officials trying to clear up the confusion about what surveillance the NSA can and cannot do. It's all in Monday's Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Happening now.